What's going on, beautiful royal family? All praises to the most high God. Family, can we please talk about this Kanye West stupidity here for a little bit? Now, this is not a lesson. This is more of a rant. I haven't done one in a while, but let me tell you, I cannot sit back anymore and listen to any of this Kanye West stupidity. That's exactly what it is. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what's going on with Kanye West right now, he recently made some statements in regards to the Jewish, I-S-H, those people, the fake Jews, the ones referenced in Revelation chapter 2, verse 9, and Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. He made some statements about them that were considered anti-Semitic. Now, we all know that's BS because Kanye West is a Semite because he comes from the line of Shem. He is a child of Jacob. He is an Israelite. So it is impossible for him to make an anti-Semitic statement because he is Semitic. So, he makes these threats towards these individuals and now his business partners with Adidas and also his bank, they're now pulling their business back from being in the Kanye West business. Now, is that an actual ploy of Kanye or is that a penalty? We'll get there in a second. But we gotta talk about something that's more important. What's more important right now is that you have so many so-called leaders within Israel that have jumped aboard the Kanye West bandwagon all because he said again that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true children of Israel, which he is 100% accurate when it comes to that. But is Kanye West the only person that ever mentioned that? Is Kanye West the only person with that knowledge? Absolutely not. There have been so many of our brothers and sisters all throughout the years that have been trying to tell our people exactly who we are, from Richard Pryor, to Paul Mooney, going all the way up to recently Ice Cube, Nick Cannon, and even Kanye West in this respect, so many others. But why is Kanye West, why is his situation so much in an uproar right now? Now, I'm not taking away what the Most High has used him for. The Most High has used him to bring awareness, but he's not the only person. But here's where the danger comes in. The danger comes in because there's been so many so-called leaders within Israel that have jumped on that bandwagon, not even using their discernment. Because everything that's coming from Kanye West is an absolute ploy. It is, it is a strategy to put the focus on him. So let's talk about him. We'll get back to these camp leaders here in a second, but let's talk about Kanye. Just a couple of weeks ago, this man was in Paris, France with Candace Owens, the self hating Candace Owens that hates her own people. And the two of them were there together with one objective to wear White Lives Matters shirts. So of course, Kanye already knew that was going to cause a lot of chaos, a lot of ruckus. And he made a boom in the media to where he says, hey, I'm over here, everybody pay attention to me. And that's exactly what they did. So now from that, comes all of this debacle with him making the statements in regards to these Jewish fake Revelation 2-9 men. And so his business partners now, they want to start pulling back their business from Kanye. So now, if you have not been keeping up with what's going on with Kanye, his biggest thing in the media right now is saying that he is a billionaire. He's coming out. I am officially a billionaire now. So, of course, with him making that statement, it is absolutely no coincidence or not an irony at all that he wants to start breaking and severing those relationships that he has with his business partners because now he's a billionaire. So now this is an entirely different bracket. You see, now we're talking business now. So in order to break away from your partners that you have agreements with legal binding agreements. What must you do now? If you do not want to face the ramifications of penalties for breaking a contractual stipulation, then the, uh, the opposite side, the opposing party, which are his business partners, now they have to want to get out of the contract with him. So remember now, there's no penalty on Kanye. There's no penalty on him whatsoever because now they are starting to break away. They're doing that. So he keeps all of his money. Every last bit of it, because now he's a billionaire. 
So now with built now with the billion dollars, now he wants to make all of his own moves. It's me. The man, he's an idiot, but he's also very intelligent as well in regards to manipulation. That's what the, that's that's what he did. For those of you who can't see the forest there for the trees, that's what he did. And now he's getting out of these agreements. No penalties. Think about that. So now he breaks out of that agreement. Now he has an entirely brand new market. To serve to his so-called now found people, the Israelites. If you have not been keeping up with the merchandising that he has been doing, take a look at this. This is all geared towards who? Israel. So now he has a multi-million dollar industry that he can play around with right now. But now I want you to take a look at something, family, because remember, Kanye, he knows that the Israelites are our people. I want you to take a look at this here. Look, look at this. Why is there a white Jesus on his clothing? Why is there a white Jesus on his merchandise? <laughs> Kanye played you He played you hard. And all y'all had to do was just a little bit of research. Just a little bit. But these camp leaders here, what they did, they stopped giving glory to the father and put their glory and worship on a celebrity. And many of you are following them cats. You following those leaders. Right into the fire. You mean to tell me that these leaders did not have enough discernment within them to see what was going on? Something that a little research, well, just a little bit, was able to identify. Yeah, but I'm the idiot, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the idiot. <laughs> and this is all they had to do with just a, a little bit of work. You know why? Because these niggas are lazy and they are celebrity worshipers. They're cock hoppers. That's what they are. I don't give a damn what you say. This Kanye West character. This man actually had the nerve to come and speak amongst Israel and then present a white Jesus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Y'all know I'm not lying. I just showed it to you. So now he has this whole brand new market that people are just not looking at when this man should have been ignored. Absolutely ignored for his stupidity. Yes, the Most High used him to bring awareness. But now that that awareness has been brought this is where the leaders are really supposed to step their game up and really reach out to the people versus the celebrity. You see, a lot of them are hoping that Kanye comes and join their camp or at least throw them a bone just by mentioning them so they can go crazy. Family, do y'all see? This is you are living in a world of merchandising. And Kanye came, he pulled the wool, not over their eyes, but over their entire face. All I'm doing is telling you what's happening. That's all I'm doing. There's no hate towards anybody. As a matter of fact, I want to give accolades to individuals who have been talking about this truth. Because there are camp leaders, two in particular. Y'all know I don't name drop or anything like that. But two individuals within Israel that have brought so much awareness to our people, but unfortunately, one of them is on that bandwagon with Kanye. And it's like, how did you not see this? Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. And Israel, I'm telling you, you better put your focus on where it belongs. And it is the most high and the most high only. And the most high told our people that we have to keep the commandments. It doesn't matter. One person is not above everybody else. Who cares? The bottom line is our people keeping the commandments. And that is something that we cannot lose. We cannot lose focus because a dipshit celebrity that has pulled the wool over many people's faces and now wants to merchandise and sell to these people just because he says we're the Israelites, everybody's supposed to go do whole stark damn crazy. No, no. 
Keep your focus where it belongs. It belongs in this book. It belongs in the scriptures. Bottom line. Bottom line. Remember, Kanye West, this is the same man that threw his tantrum in the White House and said that Donald Trump is his father. <laughs> this man that worships the white man so much and you have a lot of these leaders that's following him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't say I'm lying. You know I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. All you have to do is go look at their videos and see. Go look at their recent videos with this. What I'm doing, I'm trying to take everybody's focus and get it back where it belongs, which is on the father. Not on Kanye, on the father. Not on Ice Cube, but the father. Not on Nick Cannon, but the father. Not on Mike Malice, but the father. The father. Him. Him. That's where it belongs. Nowhere else. So, with that being said, family, please... I want you to please refocus and do everything that you can to help other people get their minds right. Bring the focus back to where it belongs, which is on the Father, on Yahweh. Okay? So, family, I'm done with that. Thank you so much to, for listening to me. And, of course, y'all already know, if y'all ever need to reach out to me, I am on Instagram. Please feel free to reach out anytime. I love y'all. And hopefully, the most high willing, I will see everybody Friday night.